Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Coming back at you with another logo ranking video, and we're going to start the series of the NCAA divisions. Now, there's a ton of college hockey teams um, all across America, and we have our work cut out for us because I I'm mean, looking forward to this one. Glo like all together, there's probably over 50 teams. So, yeah. uh, this specific one we're going to do first is the NCAA. Um, Atlantic Hockey Conference. There's 11 teams in this league or in this division, and I've ranked the logos uh, 1 to 11, and we're going to go through them. Well, least favorite to favorite, 11 to 1. Um, are you ready for some critiquing? Heck yeah. All right, let's do it. Number 11 is the United States Air Force Academy. Um, Falcons, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. So, pretty simple. It's an A and an F. Makes sense because yep. a lot of, of college hockey or colleges in general, you know, you just get the M on something and every team has just the M or whatever it is. I understand it. I appreciate it. Uh, it the budget's probably not there for to spend on. Exactly. The budget's quite not there, not quite there, but uh, it's still at the end of the day, it's just an A and an F. So yeah. I can't fall in love with it. So I like it because of what you ex kind of explained the history and everything about it. Like I said, I respect that. Mm -hmm. It's it's neat, but yeah. I'm just going to move your mic back just a little bit and turn it. Perfect. There. Uh, okay, let's move on to number 10. And this is the Niagara University Purple Eagles. Yeah. They played of Lewiston, New York, if I'm not mistaken. Unique color. Uh, it looks purple to me, or violets in between, like a blue and a, and a purple. Um not crazy about the gradient on that eagle. No. It seems a little out of place. It's right on top of the font, which is a little strange. Like you can see kind of like the on the outline of the eagle. Mm -hmm. It just looks, I don't know, I think it would be better if it was just clean. Like doesn't have those little like spikes on it or. Mm -hmm. It just looks, someone copy yeah. and pasted it right on top. There's no dimension. There's no yeah. drop shadow. There's nothing. It's just boop, right on top. So. Uh, I do really like the eyes of the eagle. The fact that they're a solid same color as the font, mm -hmm. I like that. But generally, not really that big of a fan. No. Number nine. This is the Holy Cross Crusaders, and they played of Massachusetts. Worcester. I can't say that. I think Worcester. They say Worcester, I think, or Worcester. something. I don't know. We're Canadian, whatever. Um, it reminds me of... I can see a little bit of the Montreal Canadiens. I can see yep. a little bit of the Chicago Bears. Yep. Um, this has elements of like quite a few logos. So uh, it's I would say it's pretty unique. Mm -hmm. I like the shield. I do too. Um, around the outside. I'm a sucker for a good shield. Yep, sucker for a good shield. Other than that, it looks more like a shoulder patch than it does yeah. a main logo. So That would not – I don't think that would look very good on I agree. as a main crest logo. I agree. Okay, number eight. I had a hard time finding uh, this uh, big picture of this logo. It was the only had like cutoff versions. So Rit. this is the Rochester Institute of Technology, and these are the Tigers, and they play out of Henrietta, New York. Pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, we see We've... hundreds of tigers, yeah. it seems, across the uh, sports. Um, this is not really different. It's than, not the best tiger we've seen. Yeah, we've seen some pretty good tigers. This is like... Even and, today, filming some videos, we've yeah. already seen some tigers, and this is not the best one we've no, seen. No, this is pretty far down the list. Uh, it's not bad. It's just the mustache part looks a little weird to me. It looks like those little black <laughs> string. Like, it's a very... Distinguished. It's a very hipster tiger, yeah. So, I don't know. Anyways, number seven... This is the Sacred Heart Pioneers, and they play out of Fairfield, Connecticut. Ooh, I like that. Kind of um, an, well, obviously it makes sense, an academic feel to it. Almost like a Harry Potter kind of, mm -hmm. what do you call them? When Harry Potter, I don't I've know, never tribes seen or some. I've never seen it. Something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not like bad. I like it, though. It's, I, yeah. I'm a sucker for like coat of arms type things. Exactly. It has that feel um, big time. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's got that kind of banner yes. going across the front, and it has a little bit of dimension with the perspective. That one, I think, could look cool on the front of a jersey. Yep, I agree. 
and those colors too that kind of like yeah. a deep almost desaturated red a little bit with the gray yep looks good number six uh, mercyhurst lakers they play out of erie pennsylvania okay interesting name yeah uh, never heard that before uh this logo as far as the shape i actually really like it i'm not a big font fan usually but the m is unique the y makes yeah. a hockey stick the r's are unique the fact that it's at an angle is pretty cool. It has a little bit of a baseball feel to it. Yes. The colors, yeah. thumbs down. Really? It's oh, it, green and blue. The green. Or is that the, the shade? Green is the shade. The okay. shade of green is too dark, uh, based on the shade of blue, the the stroke of the blue around it. It needs to be okay. a lighter green, or a darker blue. One of the two. They're too similar as far as. All right, I can yeah. I can respect that. Just, I'm a sucker for font logos. I'm not much of a logo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, any type of like baseball feel, even though I hate baseball, I think it looks really, really good. The dark, I like it. The dark jersey. What color would it be? Would it be the would it be the blue or the green? Either way, I think that it would have to be the blue. The green would disappear too much. And I think the. I don't know I don't what know. the jerseys look like, but I'd be almost willing to bet they would be outlined in white. I would agree, and I would hope that you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Number five, you might like this one. It's the United States Military Academy, the Black Knights, and they play in West Point, uh, I New York. It. Had a I, feeling that you would. I love it. This one, I don't know what the other ones are. This one, I love. This would be number one. Shield? Yeah. Uh, pretty two-dimensional. It's not like... I'm fine with 2D. Yeah, 2D's fine, and it works here. Yeah. Like it's, you don't need the, the, the shadows and the... The texture and everything, you know exactly what it is. You can tell exactly what it is. It's simple. It would look awesome on a jersey. Those yep. colors are amazing. Something with this, and same with the Air Force one. I can almost guarantee you every single player that wears that is extremely proud to wear it. 100%. I, and that one's a really badass logo, so I'd be very, very proud to wear that if I got to play in that jersey. Yep, same here. Number four. This is an interesting one. I like it. Yeah. Because you've got some, like, I'm, I kind of always think about these logos on jerseys. What yes. kind of potential does this logo have on a, on a jersey? And I see a lot of potential yes, here. You they could open make a, up. you can make a totally unique jersey where the the left side of this logo is blue, but that side of the jersey is black behind it, and this side of the jersey where the black logo is here, that could be blue. Like, think about a weird kind of jersey like that. You could do like the stripes just across the chest. Absolutely. You could do a gray jersey. You could do black. You could do, I mean, yeah, they. It, They've the, done a good job with this one. The way that they shaded the letters give the, the letters uh, like a beveled dimension kind of feel to yep. it. Um, I Honestly, I really, really like the stylized it. Stylized so. B is beautiful. Yep. This is cool. Very cool. Okay, number three. The American International Yellow Jackets. Mm. They played of Springfield, Mass. Uh, man, it's, it's pretty unique. It's not the greatest drawing. That but yellow jacket is jacked. He is jacked. He's He's been working out. Yeah. He's been lifting yep. a lot of hockey sticks. The wings in the background are the worst part for me. I wish yes, they'd fix those a little bit. It looks like Tinkerbell wings or something. But uh, otherwise, I like that it's unique. I like that he has skates on. Yep. It looks like he's using his stinger to uh, get the puck there. Unfortunately, the stinger kind of looks like something else. <laughs> but uh, I didn't expect we were going there. I didn't either until, <laughs> until right now, but we're there. So, yeah. It, I do like it though. Like I'm being yeah. a little harsh on it. I like it. It's his face kind of looks like a Muppet. I think a I would. Bit. It looks like Fonzo or something. Or... I'd put it in the top four. I think. Yeah. This was my list. Excellent. We agree. Number two, the Robert Morris Colonials, and they play in Colonials Mo Moon Township, hmm. Pennsylvania. Township, Pennsylvania? Is it, is it Moon Township or Colonial's Moon? There's a dash I have here. So People are going to hate us. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the club. I've been hated for years here on this channel. So uh, the, when I look at this, there's only one thing I think about, and it's like a beer label. I was just going to say it looks yeah. like Sam Adams or, or whatever. Yeah, some kind of alcohol. Or Pawtucket Patriot for yeah. those who watch Family Guy. Yeah. But with that said, I really like it. <laughs> it looks awesome. I think just based on the colors alone, you could have an awesome jersey. Yeah. So, like, I don't really have anything negative to say about this at all. No, it's nice. I like the fact that it's all 
it's not just text on logo. It's all contained into this big kind of patch thing. Number one is the, I don't know how to say that. Canisius. Can it, can it, whoa. Canisius College Golden Griffins. They played a Buffalo, New York. I love blue and yellow together. You're going to get me right here every time you put blue and yellow together. Um, it's a griffin. He looks badass. He's got his talons out in the wings. His expression's a little questionable. He <laughs> it looks, looks like, like if <laughs> if he was like robbing something and the cops caught him and they shine the spotlight on him in the middle of the night. Yeah. Where he's just kind of got that surprise like. So, like he's running home. He's got to yeah. poop really, really yeah. bad. And, you know, he's <laughs> he's he's been caught and he's not sure if he's going to make it. I love the text, the font that they used. That is 100% really by far nice. the best text in any of these logos. Yes. It's tremendous. There's not anything that I dislike about this logo. The U.S. military one would be number one. This one might be number two, but I really like that Bentley one too. Yeah, that one was pretty good. But I absolutely love the font on that. The, yeah, on this one, it would look awesome on a jersey. Yes, it would. Um, and that's it. That's number one. So yeah, like I said at the beginning, there is all kinds of divisions in the NCAA. Fifty nine to go. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of teams. So. Uh, subscribe if you want to see our analysis on the rest of them. These videos will be coming over the next couple of weeks. So subscribe if you're not already. Uh, thanks, Gail, for joining me. Make sure Absolutely. you go check out his channel at Vesper Hockey Inc. And we'll catch you in the next logo ranking video. Adios. Adios.